Yo, what is up guys, Genius X here, and today marks the start of a brand new series which I'm doing on my channel, which is the Pokemon TCG, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, PTCGO, and if you don't know, I'm, I'm actually a really, really big fan of uh, PTCGO, and yeah, I'm probably going to be starting a new series on here, so for the first video that I'm going to be doing on this series, uh, I'm probably going to be featuring a um, Mewtwo deck, I believe it's this one, I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> this is so professional. Um, yeah, so it is this deck that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be playing in the expanded format. As you can see, I have, I have Battle Compressor here, which is not any uh, more, le uh, which is not legal anymore in Standard. Um, also, yeah, this is a deck, sorry. So, um, I'm going to briefly go over my deck and get straight into the games, I believe. So, we have two Shamans here for draw support. If you don't know, Set Up Shaman is one of the most expensive cards out there and also one of the fastest ways to set up. Um, it's also Lysandra, uh, Lysandra Food, which is this card right here. Um, so, but it's a really good card for fast setups early game, and the main Pokemon we have here is Mewtwo and Mega Mewtwo. I'm uh, running a 3-3 line because I also have a uh, Zorox in my deck, which can get a little bit clunky if I'm running like a 4-3 or 4-4. Uh, normally, uh, we run a uh, 3-3. Um, you can run Gar Garbodor in this deck if you want, but uh, it does get a little bit clunky, so I wouldn't recommend it, but um, I'm running a 2 one of uh, uh two damage change uh Mewtwo's and one um photon wave Mewtwo which can stall for a uh, few turns so um not much spe uh not anything too special in this deck as they're all quite common but um um I have a two two line of Zoroarks to act as free retreat. So if uh, Hoopa or Shaman gets stuck in the active, I can use Stand In. And it also works extremely well as Mewtwo because it's also, it's also a double colorless Mon. Because uh, Mon Jack only needs uh, one double colorless energy and it can act very well against uh, Mega Ray Quasars or Rainbow Road. But um, our main attacker is definitely Mewtwo. Psychic Infinity is a really strong move. It's also a double colorless attack. But uh, generally, you want to get as much energy onto this mod as possible, and we are running three Shrine of Memories uh, to be able to use damage change, uh, one Parallel City to be able to shorten uh, their bench space, um, three Sycamore and three End for draw power, two Lysandros to snipe any sound of bench, one Special Charge to get all those uh, DCs back into my deck. Uh, Mega Turbo to get uh, Psychic Energies onto my Mewtwo's, uh, VS Seeker to get all my trainers back, and uh, Spirit Links to Mega Evolve without ending my turn, Town Map, uh, 4 Trainers Mail, 1 Super Rod, and uh, 1 Ranger and a Hex. So, pretty standard deck right here, so nothing too much. This is my first video on PTCGO, so. I'm gonna go with something standard for now, so um let us find a match straight away. I'm really really excited to play and looks like there are not much people playing right now. So we find um a water deck. Probably a water toolbox deck, but um I'm not really sure uh what kind of deck it is because uh it's only pure water. I'm gonna assume it's like po uh Palkia Kyogre some um with Manaphy and all that good stuff. Should be a pretty decent matchup if my opponent has a uh, heavy energy damage such a uh, heavy uh that uh Pokemon that use a lot of energy to attack such as Kyogre. So we're gonna uh do um uh not have a good deck to start with here but um we're getting a lot of mulligans, which is not really good, so we are starting first, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm just hoping that we don't start with a Hoopa or a Shaman, because that's going to be really unfortunate. As uh, we are not getting any basic Pokemons at the start, which is really, really unfortunate. 
Um, there we go. So we find a Mewtwo finally. Um, and this deck, uh, this hand is not bad. I would appreciate a draw supporter, but um, I can Ultra Ball for a Shaman, so that should be pretty nice. Uh, I'm probably gonna attach the Spirit Link, attach the DCE, and then go for the two Ultra Balls into the Shaman, and then try and get an M. Um, so Totoda, really interesting. Um, I'm gonna attach the DCE, attach the Spirit Link, and go for the uh. Two uh, get rid of the Mega Turbo and Lysandra. Um, I'm debating getting Hoopa, but uh, I think the uh, draw power right now, I need more, so I'm gonna go for the Shaman. So he has two Totodal, so he's running some really interesting decks. Um, find a Zoroark, I don't find a draw supporter, which is not very good, but um, um, I'm just gonna end my turn right here, there's nothing much I can do. And... Let's see what my opponent's gonna do. My opponent probably has a lot of cards that he can play. Attaches a DC to the bench like hold it out. I have a Lysandra, so I'm not really worried. Finds a Croconaw, he's probably gonna evolve it right away. Um if I can get a Mega Mewtwo out and uh and Lysand uh uh pull out this to it out, that would be great. But um Depends on what I get as my next pick. So he attaches a flow stone, really interesting. Find a trainer's mail. Let's see what we get in here. We find a sycamore, so that is pretty nice. I don't really like discarding my um what do you call it? My uh Mewtwo Spirit Link, but uh, I really need this draw support. I'm gonna attach my DC to my Zorark. Um let's see what we get here, so we get two Mega Mewtwo's, which is great, um, I'm gonna put this down, put this down. There's not much need for a Koopa anymore, to be perfectly honest. We find a Spirit Link, which is great, um, I would have preferred to find, uh, a Stadium, but, uh, can't really complain right now, um, I'm gonna hold on on the Ultra Bowl and go for the Psychic Infinity. Should kill this Totodal and we get our first prize, which is a uh, Ranger. So Ranger shouldn't be uh, really necessary in this matchup. Um, evolves it into a Croconaw. Uh, crunch, discard and energy. Oh, that is gonna be. Please don't get heads. Please don't get heads. No. So that is really unfortunate for me. Um. Let's see. I want to get another DCE out so um, I can win the game right here. So I'm going to try and get as much DCEs as possible. Um, I'm debating shortening my hand with Skyla, but there's a possibility that I might find like an N or a Sycamore in this uh, setup. So. We do not find a DC, unfortunately. We are able to get rid of sta Stadium, though, which is nice. Uh, let's see what's in Skyla. Mega Turbo, Special Charge, Super Raw, Town Map, Sycamores. Nothing really important that I need that can get out a DCE. Um, do we have a Energy in our discard? I can't even check. Um, I don't think we have an Energy in our discard. If we do, we can win the game right here. Um, I should really pay more attention to my discard pile, but um, I'm gonna just grab another turbo anyways, because why not? Do we have a discard? No, we do not have a uh, Pokemon in our discard pile, so um, I'm just gonna stand in here to get us as much damage off as possible. There's a actually no point in doing this, but um, I'm just gonna go for the Mind Jack. The reason I'm actually doing this is so he can't crunch off my Psychic Energy on my Mewtwo again. But, um, if he gets another bench Pokemon set up right now, could, uh, there could be some trouble, so... We could have won the game right there if we got the DCE, but then again, he gets up his Feradigator. And that is really unfortunate. I'm not sure if I can KO the Feradigator. Um, 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, 130. Plus the already 10, we cannot. He gets a Suicune now, really unfortunate. Um, 
He can go for Hyper Whirlpool. This is like a disruption deck with uh, discarding. Um, I'm gonna want to keep my Zoroark just to get rid of this Suicune. Um, Hyper Whirlpool with this 60. So, I'm, I have to hope he doesn't get heads. As he does. Um, this is really, really bad. I'm gonna have to retreat into Mega Mewtwo. Second strike. There's 160. Oh my god. I actually shouldn't have done that. I should have, uh, via Secret into Sycamore to see if I could have gotten a DCE, but, um, that's what I can do now. Um, so I'm gonna go for the Sycamore here. If I got an uh, DCE here, I'm gonna agree with that. I'm gonna agree with that. Yeah. Um, that's not good. Things are looking really, really bad right now. Damage change needs three energy. Um, he has a flow zone, so he can't attach a muscle band or anything like that. What I'm really afraid of is Giovanni scheme, so he can knock me out straight out. Um, thirty, sixty, one hundred, uh, ninety, one hundred and twenty. Wait, knocks him out. So 30, 60, 90, 121. Yeah, and not, uh, Psychic Infinity knocks him out. What am I talking about? Yeah, so he knocked out uh, the Ferragator, which is great. I'm really hoping we find a DC here as we find another Psychic Energy. Uh, it goes into a Suicune. My main way of dealing with this is with my Zoroark, but right now it can only do 10 damage, which is not a lot. Um, this thing is really annoying. Probably gonna be careful not to put any bench Pokemon just to be able to take out my Zorark. And things are not looking really well for me. Uh this stupid ability. Do you have a Ranger in my discard? No, not Ranger, Hex. Uh nope, I do not have a Hex. Um I'm gonna stick more here. And hope that I get a hex. Is hex in my prize? No, it's not in my prize. So we know that much. Yes, we find a hex. We find a hex, which is great. Um, I'm gonna type my flowstone on shaman, and then stand in and retreat into shaman. I believe that is the right play. If he dives well for another, another, or oh, what they call it, Seeker, that could be a problem, but I do believe we have a few more VS Seekers left in our deck. Yeah, we have two more VS, uh, one more VS Seeker, is it prized? Yes, it's prized, meaning if we take out a Seeker, we can get another VS Seeker. So that is going to be GG, I believe. Um, we're gonna attach this, or we're gonna retreat into... Our Mewtwo. I'm gonna attach this double colorless on. I'm gonna go for the Hex. I'm gonna go for the Psychic Infinity and take out this Suicune. So that was a really, really fun match. Suicune definitely gave me troubles, but Hex came through at the end and we managed to uh, come through. So let us find a second match here with our Mewtwo deck. Um, we get a few pri uh, daily prizes here. So, I 
I'm gonna try and fit about three to four matches in uh episodes, so um Zora also came in a lot of work right there getting the free retreat. So let's just see what we face here. We face a water normal deck, so uh looking like a Froki with a talent thing deck, so looking like a Greninja talent thing deck to me, so we're gonna start because we can't afford to if he starts with the talent flame, it's not bad starting a uh, second because you get to attack with Aerobus straight away. But, um, Parallel City, I'm actually thinking I might put the red side over on his side to reduce his damage by 20 points. Um, I'm not sure if that will help me. Um, it might, but uh, if my bench space gets crowded, I can always just put Shrine back in. So, I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna attach this. I'm gonna do this. Ranger and Skylar. I'm gonna go for the Skylar and try and fish out a Hoopa using uh, Ultra Ball. Gonna discard the sh uh, N and the Zork to get out the Hoopa because we can get out a Shaming with the Hoopa. Thank God Koopa wasn't prized. I should have checked that. That was a big mistake by me, actually. Um, I'm gonna search up to three EXs here. Um, a Mewtwo, a Shaman, and I think that's it. I don't want to put anything else on my bench. So let's put the Mewtwo on, and let's hope we get a Spirit Link here so we can Mega Evolve next turn, and possibly an Energy. Preferably a DCE. Um, we do not get a what what a spirit link, so that's not very really nice. Um, then I attach this flowstone straight away onto this guy. Um, we have an end in our discard pile, so I mean we have a skylar in our discard pile, so that's nice. If you can get an energy next, we have an energy on discard. Nope, we can't use uh mega turbo, so it's probably gonna go. Yeah, it's a froky deck. Um, he's probably gonna attach that energy to Talon Fame and go for Erebus and try and get up his uh, Ninja Shurikens. Uh, gets rid of my Stadium, not big of a problem, that's why I should save Shrine. Um, deals 40 damage to my Mewtwo, not a big deal. What I'm really wor worried about is that we can't set up our uh, Psychic Infinity fast enough. Because this is not a really good matchup because Greninja doesn't have a lot of energy on him, so... I can get rid of his rough seeds right here, and if I can mega evolve here, hmm, I'm gonna end. I think ending is the right play because I desperately need the energy. We find a Mewtwo Spirit Link, but we need do, do not find the energy. Um. Go for a shadow shot here. Do 30 damage. If he can get his uh what do you call it, Frogadier up on turn two, we can't KO that uh Froki. Uh he puts a bursting balloon on the town thing, not that big of a deal. Because I do have Lysandre and I'm aiming to get the energy next turn to get rid of the Froki. But that is a big stretch. He puts some muscle band on the Froki. Oh and great. Um, actually, no, that's not great. I need a Lysandra. Um, thing is, we do need the energy and the Lysandra to be able to take out that Froki. We get a Lysandra, no energy, but, um, we do get a Spirit Link and a Zora, meaning we can potentially fish for a Shaman, since our bench is now cleared up. Um, So, um, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to attach the Spur Link to this guy. I'm going to send out the Zorark here. I'm going to go for this, get rid of this and this. I'm going to get out the another Shaman. I'm going to assume that I can get an Energy, which is a really bad play, in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to do this anyways. 
I'm gonna go for the Shaman Scar uh, setup, hoping that I get a energy. As we do get the energy, and that is bye bye to this Froki. Um, Shadow Shot, 60 damage. We got the Ultra Ball also, so we can get a uh, Mega Mewtwo out on the next turn. We actually just <laughs> get it straight away from our prizes, so which is great. Um, sends out his second Froki. He's probably gonna go for the. I forgot what move it, but Shadow Ninjutsu, um, Water Duplicates, yes, um, probably gonna set this guy up right now, um, I'm gonna get my Mega up, he gets rid of my Stadium, which is not very good, because I was planning to get, uh, put a Double Carless and then go for the damage change on the, on the, f what, I forgot what you call this, he, Lysandre's this Mewtwo out, which I do not think is the right way. He has this Froakie. I don't know why, but, um. So, I'm gonna evolve this guy. And then, Sycamore? Do I have a Sycamore here? Nope, I have a uh, Skyla. Um. This is the only thing that currently has an energy right now, so. I'm just gonna take it out with Psychic Infinity. To be honest, I should have Skyled for the uh what do you call it? For the for the uh Shrine of Memories, but uh it's too late now. Um If you can get a float stone, a Zorark, and a shrine next turn, you can No, I don't think that's possible, but um he gets up his first Greninja, um, which I believe four double colorless will kill, if I'm not mistaken. 30, 60, 90, 120, 130, yes, um, two double colorless will kill this, uh, Ace Trainer, what does this do? Oh. But. He actually ace trainered me into a really really good car uh, into really good cards, so thanks. Um he gets up his three Greninjas, which is really unfortunate for me. Probably gonna arrow this right here. Eco arm, interesting. Um I'm thinking of whether I should um aim for this Greninja or this Greninja. Goes for the um this Mewtwo is in range of a giant water shuriken, which is not something that I want. And I'm gonna attach this to this guy and then go for the sycamore. Find a few mega turbos. Gonna ultra for a mega Mewtwo because I have to make this I can't let this guy take two more prize cards. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, Sycamore that Greninja now, but um, let's go see what we can find here. Find a town map. Should be pretty useful. Um, Hex! This can actually be very useful to uh, negate all his abilities. Um, wait, I already used the train. Oh, that was stupid. Um. I want a Mega Turbo. I'm I, I'm actually not gonna Mega Turbo. I'm gonna Psychic Infinity here and just take this sound thing out. But um, I'm gonna Hex next turn, so I can stop his Water Shurikens. Find the energy. Um, goes into this Greninja. If I'm him, yeah, yeah he has a. Uh, he's just gonna Giant Water Shuriken. If he, ninety damage. That does not take out my Mewtwo. Which is great. Um, he goes for my Mega Mewtwo, the one on the front line instead, which is really interesting. Actually, does uh, 80 damage take me out? Yes, it does. Wow. Okay, that is really surprising. Well played by him. Um, and I, this, I don't think 4 energy takes him out. And he ends. Oh, that is the comeback. The comeback is real. Um... We find a flowstone, which is pretty nice, but we're kind of stuck now, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we are stuck. 
Ugh. We are stuck. I seriously don't know what to do here, um... I'm gonna set up my Mewtwo in the back. Like, Greninja is not a favorable matchup for Mewtwo at all because he doesn't have a lot of energy on him every turn. But, um, I don't see me winning this game unless I can pull a VS Seeker next turn or something. I don't see me winning the game. Um, my only possible win con is probably N. He's probably gonna aim for my Zora right here to get, uh, three prizes. Yes, he does aim for my Zora. Um,. Ah, oh, this sucks. And I'm pretty sure Moonlight Slash kills me with a muscle band. So, I'm gonna have to hope for a Sycamore into a Mega Mewtwo double colorless. And a Spirit Link. If I want any chance of winning, he also has a slow poke in the back. He aims for a shaman, putting it in range of a moonlight slash. This is my only chance. Nope, we don't get anything good at all. If this is damage change me too, I could have done something probably. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna go for the photon wave. I don't see me winning this. Yeah, now he just water shurikens and I lose it, so. Shaman becomes water shuriken food, unless he does not have energy in his hand right now. Oh. Which I highly doubt. If he has Lysandra, I still lose. Yeah, I'm just gonna forfeit here. Oh, uh, that was, uh, tough. Really tough matchup. But, uh, we're gonna find a few more games after this. Basically, because of Mewtwo's attack, Psychic Infinity, I had to, uh, I couldn't one-shot his Greninja's while he can bench snipe my Shaman's, uh, which is not a really favorable matchup, but, Yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna choose to attack first. I'm pretty sure I fought against this guy before. He was using a, a really bad start, actually. <laughs> but, um, he was using some, uh, junk arm. No, junk hunt sable. I was trick shovel. And a bright idea Latias or something like that, so. And I have to start off with my Hoopa. I'm gonna try and find a Flowstone as fast as possible. I. Oh, let's see what he has. Hypnotostic Laser. It's gonna be an annoying game to face. So. I'm gonna draw a card here. If 
find another VS Seeker, not really what I wanted. Um, Shrine or Parallel City? Uh, Parallel City. He probably plays like Silent Gap or something. Get rid of this. This. Get out a new two. I'm gonna go get rid of one of the Mega Mew twos. I'm gonna go for a Shaman. One of my shaman is prized. Find a spirit link, which is very nice. Um, and I should do this me too. Don't have any good trainers in my discard, so I'm gonna end my turn here. Um, not a very favorable matchup, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's a belt on Darkrai and an Axe Elixir. Hope you miss. And he lands it. Um, what does this guy have? Nice fear. 92 to active and 32 to bench. Not that big of a problem, to be perfectly honest. No retreat cost is pretty hard to deal with, but doesn't hit his second max, which is pretty good. Goes for Junk Hunt. Probably two max electrodes back into his deck. Um, what do we draw here? We draw a Mega Turbo. Probably the worst thing we can draw right now. Um, do we have anything we can do right now? Nope, we don't. Um, well, we're gonna have to end our turn here. We don't have a really good drawing luck today. If he misses his two max elixir, then uh. We have a chance, but um, he lands both of them, I believe. Nope, he lands one of them. But he attaches a DC to it and goes for a hypnot hypnotoxic laser. And doesn't put me to sleep, which is pretty good. But it goes for an end. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for getting rid of this awful hand. But, um... Hmm... You know what? It's use it or lose it. I'm gonna stick more of these. Get this Mewtwo back into the stick. And then sick more away. I need that draw power. Fortunately, we don't find a lot of good stuff actually. Um, I'm gonna tell a map here. See what's in the trainer's mail. Flowstone? Nope. Shrine. Um. Don't need that. I'm gonna take that via seeker. Gonna go for the Ultra Ball. So I can get a Mewtwo out. Um What I'm hoping for next turn to be is to I can snipe this Dark Cry with a VS Seeker into Alessandro. And I, uh, um, so I draw a Flowstone and then I attach uh, it to Hoopa, retreat into my Mewtwo, attach an energy to this VS Seeker, Lysandra, and get rid of this Dark Cry. But I'll probably get stuck, so that's probably not the best play. He choruses, gets uh, 7 cards, and he's going to draw a uh, Evelto. To be honest, he's probably going to retreat into his Dark Crash here and go for the Nice Speed. He goes for a Dark Patch. He actually goes for a Junk Hunt again. He's setting up really well right now, which is not what I want.
You get a flow stone, which is great. I'm gonna sycamore here. I need that draw power. If I can get an escape rope, if if I'm even running escape rope in this deck, but um, if I can get an escape rope right here, that would be pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna get have to get fan two up soon. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty, one fifty. Yep, that's kills. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty, one fifty, one eighty, two ten. 220, get rid of the 20 for the resistance, 200. If you had hatches of Fury Belt, I don't kill, but um, yeah, so let's do this. Probably gonna attach more energy to that thing anyway, so should be pretty good. Misses both his uh, max elixirs. Please don't find the Fury Belt. Don't find the Fury Belt. Don't find the Fury Belt. The reason I'm attempting to get rid of this Dark Cry is because Dark Pulse with all these Dark Energies are is gonna do a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. So goes into Dark Cry here. Goes to a Nice Spear. Um, shouldn't be able to take me out. Does a uh, hundred damage and does thirty to my Shaman. Um. Gonna retreat into my Mega Mewtwo and then uh, Sandra this thing out and then put this DCE onto this Mewtwo and then go for the Psychic Infinity 200. I actually killed this Dark which is great. Um, let's see what we need. We need a Flowstone and AVS secret. Um, I do see us winning this game, but uh, this this dark ride can still be a problem. But he finds another dark ride, which is pretty bad for us. Um. Worst comes to worst, I'm gonna have to VS Secret that sing out again. Close for the last time. Oh, aiming for my Hoopa. Shaman! Wait, can he He can get two kills. That's four prize cards right there. Well played, well played, man. Um, but I do believe this kills. We have eight energies. So. I'm gonna be surprised if this doesn't kill. Um, gonna put this stone flowstone here. Max elixir into a sycamore. Actually, uh, N is better because uh, I can uh, narrow him down to two cards and potentially trap him. We don't find too good of cards, but uh, it's not bad either. Um. I'm gonna attach this to you. And go for the psychic infinity. Take you out. Shaman and train rail. Gonna go into your Velto here, so. He's gonna get maximum draw power, which is not what I wanted. I end him down to two cards because, oh, dark patch. I mean, if we take out this Eveltal, his main source of attack for dark posts also uh, is gone. So, oh, please don't have a hypnotoxic laser. 
I was a fury belt. No, 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 please don't skip me. Fuck. Please wake up, wake up, wake up. Please, me too. I need you to wake up right here. Yes, thank you very much, okay. Um, let's see. Hex, let's see what's in our mail first. Turbo and a link. I'm gonna go for the turbo. Uh, I mean the spirit link, so I can get more hit points onto this guy. No, I forgot about the ability lock. Oh, I am so stupid. I am so stupid. That was such a stupid move. I could have hexed right there. And Shaman, no. I think that's going to cost me the game. That's probably going to cost me the game. If he can set up his dark right fast enough, that's going to cost me the game. Oh. F that was such a stupid move. Is this going to kill me? 210. Yes, it is. That oh, why did I do that? That was such a stupid move. Oh, I completely forgot about the tool lock. I sh- Oh. What I should have done there was stand in with Zorak, retreat out into my healthy Mewtwo, play the Hex, get more hit points on my other Mewtwo, Shaman into more draw power. Oh, that was such a stupid mistake. Uh, if, if you're using this deck, please don't make that such stupid of a mistake. <laughs> that was such a stupid mistake by I me. Mean, I completely forgot about the Fright Night event all. Ugh. So that's going to be it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. I made some really stupid plays. And yeah, so see you next